If your Refine Boot Manager was working before, but now it doesn't load or it goes straight into Windows if you dual boot, then I'll show you how you can get it working again. I'll be breaking my Refine Boot Manager to show what will happen. So first, I'm going to go into Arch Linux. I'm going to open up a terminal. I'm going to sudo in. I'm going to go into my boot directory. And there's the Refine Linux conf file. I'm going to cat it. And we see the different boot options. Now I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to go into the EFI directory one more time. And there's the Refine directory. And here are all the Refined files. And there's the Refine.conf file, which is the configuration file for Refined. I cat it. And we see the timeout. Use NVRAM. And if I keep scrolling through, It'll have the different menu entries, but Refine's auto detection mechanisms will generally find all the bootloaders, so the menu entries wouldn't actually be needed. Now I'm going to remove everything for Refine by removing this entire directory, which includes the Refine bootloader itself. And there's a tools directory that is created during the Refine install, but there's nothing in it. We're going to remove this as well. And so everything has been removed. And I'm going to reboot now. And in my case, I have Windows installed as well. And so it's going to go directly into Windows as it won't be able to find the Refine Boot Manager. All right, so it's gone straight into Windows. And now I'm going to fix Refine by reinstalling it. And I'm going to boot into the Arch Linux installation media. All right, the Arch Linux installation media comes up. I'm going to boot into it. I'm going to do an fdisk-l on my disk. And so my two partitions are going to be SDA5, which is the EFI system partition for Arch Linux, and SDA6, which is my Linux root partition, slash. So I'm going to mount both of those partitions. I'm going to do a clear. All right, so I'm going to mount slash first, SDA6, going to the MNT directory. And now I'm going to mount SDA5 to the mount boot EFI directory. And now I'm going to arch to root into the mount directory. I already have the refined package installed. But if you're not sure, you can run pacman to install it. Yes. And now I'm going to go into the boot directory. And in the boot directory, there's no refined configuration file. I'm going to the EFI directory. Boot. There's no refine there. And there's no refined directory here. So I'm going to get out and I'm going to run the refine install script. All right, so it's been installed and I'm going to go into the boot directory and we see the conf files there, which I'm going to edit shortly and going into the EFI directory. And we see refine is there again and it's populated. Going back to the boot directory and if I cat the refine Linux conf file, and the first two boot options, they don't have the correct parameters there. So I will have to fix that. I'm going to use nano. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to fill in the options. All right, the first option, root equals the UUID, and then read write, zswap on enable equals zero, and then the file system type, ext4. And that should say log level equals three and quiet. And for the single user mode, all right, so root equals UUID and then 
read write, set swap enabled, equals zero, root file system type, ext4, and then log level equals three, and then quiet single, and then control X to exit, save, yes, and the file name to write, enter, ls-al, I'm gonna cat it just to confirm, and now I'm gonna exit out of the cheroot, and now I'm gonna reboot. All right, so the Refine Boot Manager comes up as expected. I have Windows here. This is the fallback bootloader. This will boot into Arch, and this will boot into the Arch installation media. So I'm gonna boot into Arch. All right, so it works as expected. So that's how you can restore the Refine Boot Manager in Arch Linux. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.